Uh, my name is Durga Darshni and my metric number is 193480. Hello everyone, my name is Yoshan Kuri. My metric number is 193478. Hello everybody, my name is Mohammed Fazadus and my metric number is 191448. In real and uh, most devices, there is always some charge within the oxide and at the C oxide interface, as you can see. Uh, within the outside, there, is, there are some trap charges, Q, uh, OT, high, which, are, which have high energy, which are high energy electrons, and or holes injected into outside. Then we have mobile charge, Q and M, uh, ultimately metal ions, which have sufficient mobility to uh, drift in outside under an applied electric field. And and at the interface, we have fixed charges, QF, excess uh, C, SI, sorry, trapped uh, and trapped charges, QIT, dangling ones. So, uh, then we move on, and at an ideal oxide in which there are no fixed oxide or oxide semiconductor interface charges. An ideal oxide is what I just explained. A fixed oxide charge will affect the uh, threshold voltage. Fixed oxide charge will affect the flat band voltage. Flat band voltage equation is, as you can see, VFB equals to VMS minus QF over C. And the flat band voltage uh, shifts to more negative voltages for positive uh, fixed oxide charge. And since oxide charge is not a function of a gate voltage, the curves should uh, show parallel shift with oxide charge and CB curves remain same as ideal characteristics. basic structure of the MOSFET. So as the name indicates MOSFET is the combination of metal oxide and semiconductors. This is the peak type of substrate with length W above uh, the length W above the substrate the oxide is placed in the manner and above the oxide the metal is connected like shown in the type 1N plus R the semiconducting materials uh, heat the two terminals that is the source and the drain but this one is the source terminal, this one is the drain terminal. The metal which we have connected with the oxide is our gate terminal and the fourth terminal. Uh, but the body which is connected to the substrate body and source are generally grounded terminals. Okay, MOSFET have two types, enhancement type and depletion type. In enhancement type we got N type and P type. In depletion type we got N type and P type. So what is the difference between the enhancement type and depletion type? So the difference is uh, between the two is in depletion type channel will exit initially then the movement when you apply some voltage the channel will be slowly will be removed and become zero. So that is the difference between the depletion and uh, enhancement type. So this is the equation. The drain current equal to ID SS uh, bracket 1 minus BGS over VP pinch voltage and square the thing. So let, let's see the enhancement type of NMOS and PMOS. We got NMOS and PMOS. This is the physical structure of the NMOS and PMOS where um, the substrate is P in N type and the PMOS the substrate is N, uh, N. So this is the symbol of the NMOS and this is the symbol of PMOS. Now we look uh, into the MOSFET operation. Here the MOSFET uh, structure where the source is connected to ground and uh, gate we got the VG more than or equal to zero and drain uh, where the voltage drain equal to zero or more than zero. So in this particular case, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to vary V sub G and seeing the effect behavior as I vary V sub G and seeing the uh, behavior that P sub DS, which is potential from the source to drain. So in this is applied here the voltage is applied here what i can say is we are going to look at this case where when vds is small but positive 
and the Vg is positive. So remember, in P type uh, substrate, we got the extra holes. So when I create and give the potential difference across uh, gate, this positive and, uh, and going to create an electric field uh, here. So we'll create the electric field here. So and the electric field from positive to negative from here positive to negative is going to force these holes down towards the ground. So uh, and the same time is going to pull this and this uh, material over uh, a channel we we'll create here. So so that the electron from here to here will can uh, and move uh, into the channel across the channel uh, from here for here the uh, electron will move and the current will flow from drain to source uh, which means the current from uh, uh, flow from the drain to source so now if I increase the voltage here if I increase the voltage here uh, so the larger V sub G and I get a larger electric field here I will get a larger electric field and the channel will become bigger so the current will easily uh, can go through into the uh, what channel so we can represent this thing into a graph IV characteristic graph so we look IV and VG well we can get a non-linear graph uh, we can compare this thing with the uh, resistor where we, uh, when we with the resistor we get ohm's law we get uh, v over uh, i we get a linear uh, line so we can compare this thing where this one is non-linear this one is linear graph okay um, so now i want to explain uh, when the vg vgs uh, where we keep the VGS and uh, V uh, sub G as a constant. It is a positive by at the constant value. Instead, we, we are going to vary V sub and DS from small amount to larger amount. This thing from small to larger. Uh, so, when V sub D is small value, when D is small, V sub D is small, I want to represent everything on this graph. So when we have a small value here, we have a small current flow in this uh, channel. So we have electric field and have a current flow uh, from drain to source. So now what happened when I increase the increase this thing? So this is our electric field is no longer constant because no longer electric field not like this when. We increase the V sub D because uh, the electric field become like this. Uh, will reduce like this, and the channel will create like this. So the channel will be like um, will be like this, somewhere like this, lah. So so electric field look uh, kind of like this, and when I increase V sub D S. I start to get a pinch off here. So when I get this uh, this thing, uh, actually in PN type of semiconductor, we got a depletion region. So more the V sub DS more pinch off. So and look like current not going to flow anymore because it doesn't does not have uh, this part channel to electricity to flow. Um, but the semiconductor has depletion region and electricity can jump into the depletion region but they are restricted so then over this region we can call a saturation we can get this thing so here when the small value of V sub D here when we have the V sub D medium or okay uh, more than a uh, smaller and here we increase more uh, we sub D if we increase more we get a saturation because this thing will reduce more and become like this uh, so this is the call we uh, we call it saturation region where the electron jump across the depletion region so 
now we can conclude uh, we can summarize the thing well when the vds small when the vds small and uh, vds small we will get a uh, uh, what n type uh, mosfet like this and the graph when the vds small and vds small here we will get the thing so when the vds small and the vds in uh, medium medium size we will get here the second graph and the vds small and vds larger so we get here the third graph so if vds and medium and the uh, vds is small so when vds uh, the vds is medium and the vds is small so we will get a graph here and the uh, vds medium and uh, medium we get here at uh, the pinch off and when the vds larger and vgs small we get the saturation point and when the vds uh, larger and vgs is medium we get the saturation point here and the uh, vds uh, larger and vgs larger we get saturation point here <laughs> question for mosfet consider an ideal n channel mosfet with parameters l length is 1.25 uh, mu mu meter uh, mu n 650 cm square v per second cox 6.9 1098 f per cm square vt is 0.65 volt design the channel with uh, such that the saturation current is 4 milliampere for uh, voltage for ground is 5 volt so now this is the formula that we need to use so the saturation current the formula is a uh, week times with mu n cox over 2 length we uh, voltage ground minus vt square so we just need to substitute in the value which is 4 milli equals to width 650 6.9 10 8 and 2 uh, length is 1.25 um, mu meter uh, and then you have to minus the voltages and then you have to divide to get the width which is 11.8 new meter <music> now about application of MOSFET just now Siva already explained to us about MOSFET so now I would like to uh, explain to you all about application of MOSFET MOSFET actually acts as a switch and then this is the example of the schematic diagram for switch um, it can act as a switching circuit when it operates in cut off and saturation regions uh, will be switched on when the ground uh, voltage ground is positive meaning the switch will be on when this value here is positive because it will act as a short circuit Whereas when the ground is 0 volt, the MOSFET will be switched off and the output voltage will be equal to the VDD. This uh, thing performs switching action in basic bulk converters used in DC-DC power supplies. For an example, for this action, it is actually like there is an alternative wave which means inductor will keep the uh, current and the source will be supplied or the source uh, keeps the current and the inductor supplies this is what it tries to mean next is about the amplifier um, this is the example of schema uh, schematic diagram which means MOSFET can also act as an amplifier so N channel MOSFET are in off state when no gate to source voltage is applied here when um, when it is in off uh, state, uh, no source voltage is supplied in the V in. So when biased with positive voltage, it starts to conduct, allowing the flow of drain current. So when uh, there's positive voltage going in, it starts to allow draining current. Um, and here we are saying that MOSFET can act as an amplifier because when current increases, voltage increases. This is the uh, this is the example of the amplitude. You can see the amplitude of the graph. It first, when the voltage in, it's uh, the amplitude is smaller, and when the voltage is out, the amplitude is bigger. So this is why I say that MOSFET can act as an amplifier.